Danke, Studio Nürnberg. Thank you, Studio Hanover. We'd like to thank the attentive Kla TV viewer who submitted this current report. The editors of the WDR and NDR Info had a noticeable mishap on Tuesday, April the 29th, around 1.10 p.m. in the radio show Mittags Echo. The moderate news report about Gerhard Schröder's birthday party with Russian President Putin is suddenly interrupted just one minute into the presenter's running text by another presenter. This interruption was made at a controversial place, because up until this point, the report was remarkably positive compared to the usual media atmosphere. It placed a downright friendly light on Putin and the former Chancellor Schröder, who is still a highly esteemed friend of his. Here a summary of what was broadcasted. The invitation to St. Petersburg, Russia, was an invitation arranged by the energy company Nord Stream Incorporated. After Putin's motorcade drove up, the two men walked towards each other and embraced one another affectionately. Also Mecklenburg-Vorpommern Prime Minister Sellering was in attendance, who emphasized that one should not break the communication ties to Russia in difficult times. During the meeting, Schröder criticized the massive mistakes in the European Union's approach to the Ukrainian crisis. And at just this point, the cut suddenly happens, through a conspicuous interruption of the editorial staff, paper rustling, then a reference, which was surely a surprise for listeners everywhere, that the topic would be resumed at the end of the broadcast. This was followed by more detailed reports, amongst others, German President Gauck's visit to Turkey, with a short side blow by the presenter at Putin, who always gets along splendidly with Erdogan. At the end of the broadcast, shortly before 2 p.m., they do actually give a short amount of time to the birthday celebration in St. Petersburg, but this time it was colored in the typical negative light. A female presenter, who actually reported on the, on the coalition talks in Bonn, picked up outraged comments by the local government politicians who judged Schröder's behavior as entirely inappropriate. In the contents that follow, there is nothing more to be heard about Schröder's comments on the bad behavior of the European Union. What a surprise, after all, the European Union and the USA tightened their sanctions against Russia just the day before. It obviously does not fit into this strategic approach to portray Putin in such a negligent way. Embracing is taboo, and criticism of the EU's approach is of course taboo in any case. On WDR5, or NDR Info, all searching for the live, interrupted and positive broadcast is in vain. That's what censorship looks like shortly after 1 p.m. in German broadcasting. But it's worth the effort to listen and watch attentively, for the media operators expose their real intentions more and more often in front of running camera or microphone. So that's actually the good news. Join us again tomorrow and have a good evening.